Good evening. Today is Monday in the fifth week of Easter. Our evening prayer begins on page 488. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death, and through the power of his resurrection, he opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate with joy in this paschal season may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. We ask this through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Sing choirs of New Jerusalem, your sweetest notes employ, the paschal victory to him in strains of holy joy. For Judah's lion burst his chains and crushed the serpent's head. Christ cries aloud through death's domain to wake the prison dead. Triumphant in his glory now to him all power is given. To him in one communion bow all saints in earth and heaven. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory to the Spirit be, while endless ages run. When the Israelites escaped from Egypt, when the family of Jacob left that foreign land, the land of Judah became God's sanctuary, and Israel became his kingdom. The Red Sea saw them coming and hurried out of their way. The water of the Jordan River turned away. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What's wrong, Red Sea, that made you hurry out of the way? What happened, Jordan River, that you turned away? Why mountain did you skip like a ram? Why hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. He turned the rock into a pool of water. Yes, a spring of water flowed from solid rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the letter to the Hebrews. We have a high priest who sat down in the place of honor beside the throne of the majestic God in heaven. There he ministers in the heavenly tabernacle, the true place of worship, that was built by the Lord and not by human hands. And since every high priest is required to offer gifts and sacrifice, our high priest must make an offering too. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again, Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive in God, in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. You died for our sins. Glory to you, Lord of life. You rose again for our salvation. Glory to you, Lord of life. You set us free from the law of sin and death. Glory to you, Lord of life. You gave new life to our fallen world. Glory to you, Lord of life. You plead for us at the Father's right hand. Glory to you, Lord of life. Almighty and everlasting God, in these days of struggle, we intercede on behalf of the people of the world. As we find ourselves in the midst of a global outbreak, we beseech you to send forth the fresh outpouring of the Spirit upon all who are struggling, fearful, or anxious. In a particular way, alleviate the pain and suffering of those who are ill. Strengthen those who diligently labor in health care and preserve peace in all other respects. That united together we may overcome this virus 
and find a pathway forward to prevention and good health for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty Father, you gave your only begotten Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification. Give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who, who will redeem me, O Lord my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation that you have displayed in the sight of all the people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>